I get this question asked so many times in my YouTube comments, in my uh, you know Instagram DMs. Everyone is asking the same questions. Like imagine this: the title of the video is machine learning and how to get started, and the comments are "Bhaiya, Vitti asaan hai ya fir Bhitsa asaan hai? Bhaiya, Manipal kaise hai? Bhaiya, ye kaise karna hai? Ye kaise padhu? Ye kaise karu?" Like uh, let me actually tell you all of these things. I don't talk about this very often, but I just want to tell you exactly what I feel about you guys asking and watching YouTube, uh, you know, videos for JE preparation. Let me tell you the reality of this. I will be talking about two to three things. Uh, it would be number one. uh what is it that people watch youtube for you know in the je preparation thing and why is it harmful for you and then i'll be talking about what you should actually be doing okay let's start Hey everyone I'm Ishan Sharma if you don't know who I am I pursue uh, you know electrical engineering at Bits Goa and I run this YouTube channel uh, where I just talk about software development and you know entrepreneurship and like these uh, type of things okay I also have my own podcast called Bitscast where I interview some amazing people uh, so that we can learn something from them and the one question that I get all the time is just related to JE preparation and all of these things now I see such a huge niche and such a big category of just people making jay related videos just talking about this concept uh, they just keep making videos on videos on videos you know last 30 day preparation guide last 90 day preparation guide uh, if you are weak in physics do this if you are weak in uh, chemistry do this if if you want to learn coordinate compounds uh, use this one trick and there are there are like so many videos available on youtube for you to you know just just learn that it actually becomes confusing okay like uh, i'll tell you from my own personal experience when i was at your place when i was in 11th and 12th grade i too was exactly like you i used to watch videos on videos just talking about uh, you know just learning about these tricks that people used to tell me about how can you tackle these questions and like that's why i just wasted so much of my time okay and you guys are doing the same thing I know it is locked down and because of that you have so much freedom and you just start you know just binging on a bunch of youtube videos talking about jay preparation you think you are learning something and this is something that is beneficial to you when in reality this is only going to waste a lot of your time and let me tell you why what happens is that in jay advance in jay mains this this is these are highly competitive exams okay there is no shortcut there there are no tricks that you can apply there are no you know uh, a lot of you guys just search for easy methods to you know just solve something easy methods to crack an exam there is no easy method it's only hard work that you need to put in the time that you are spending watching these 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute videos on youtube you could actually implement that into solving problems okay at the end of the day these tricks can be found out but the one thing that you cannot find is your own time is your own hard work that is something that not everyone puts in okay like i know a lot of you guys ask this question uh is this exam easier or is this exam easy for me or should i actually stop uh, going for jee mains or should i focus on bitsad it depends on you how can you ask me what is easy for you i don't know who you are uh, what is your background what is your preparation level i don't know any of those things and you ask me this question is it easy or not for me bitsad was easy for me jee mains was not so easy for me jee advance was difficult okay and before i just talk more about this i'll just let you know my bitsad score was 330 jee mains was 60000 rank jee advance was 20000 okay so i'm not like the most brightest uh, kid out there uh, in this jee you know ranks but whatever but the one thing that i have felt is that you need to stop watching these these videos just talking about tricks and uh, how to how to solve some questions easily and you need to put that work and put that time into solving problems and learning the things okay stop you know seeing better ways to solve something and actually do it actually solve the problems and see it for yourself which problem is the thing that you feel that, that you're comfortable with and then analyze that paper okay like it's, it's it's actually not that difficult okay people think that it is some really complicated thing it is all really simple okay which means it is difficult i'll tell you what that means it's really simple you just need to find out the previous year papers solve them and then you know get some more previous papers get some mock test papers solve those find out your weak points and then analyze that and then solve some more papers that's how you get good at whatever exam you want to right that is the only way for you to win at any of these exams it's just called rinsing and repeating okay 
solve a bunch of papers, find out your weak points, implement that, try to learn those things, see if you are able to learn it. If you are not able to learn it, just forget about it. Focus on the other 90% of the, uh, you know, portion and the topics. And that's it, right? That's all you need to do. And uh, I know that this is something that people don't realize. And they think this is some, you know, uncharted territory that they are going into, JE and colleges. And so they think that they are lost in this ocean of, uh, you know, just uh, there is so much complexity, I understand. And then you have so many colleges, it becomes really difficult for you to decide where do you want to go. But I think self-awareness is really important for you. Okay, like if you think about it, you know yourself the best and I cannot tell you which college is best for you. People ask me like, should I go into VIT Bhopal or should I go into, uh, you know, MIT, uh, you know, Jaipur or something. I cannot tell you that answer. That depends on you. What are your circumstances? What is your family situation like? Will you be able to afford that fees? I don't know your background. So how can I even tell you what is good for you? I still try to answer the questions because I'm just, you know, I just want to help as many people as possible. Okay, and I want to become that big brother that I did not have. Okay, but that does not mean that you take my advice for granted and you just focus on what others are telling you. Start to think about yourself and what you think from the inside. Okay, and have that self-awareness factor. Take that into account and then think about where do you want to go. This whole industry was built up because people that are not confident enough in their preparation skills want to get better at it and the only way they think they will be able to do this is by going on to youtube and watching a bunch of videos this won't help you you know like you might watch a bunch of you know, trick, tricks videos and and that's all good but then if you don't put in the work if you don't put in the efforts to learn the concepts and implement uh, on like a hundred questions you won't get it right i spent like countless hours just learning physics and the you know so many topics that i've learned in j and only then was i able to understand what is good for me and what is bad for me you know like just 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 think about this for a moment if you want to know in my exact like j journey i have a podcast episode uh, on a podcast that i was invited into i'll link it in the description so you can do uh, check that out if you want to just learn about my journey and what all i did uh, so yeah, like I just wanted to make this point clear. Don't watch these J preparation videos. Uh, it will just leave you with more questions than actually give you solutions. So just keep that into, uh, you know, perspective. And you know, this, this is just my own opinion. Okay. Uh, and it depends on you how you want to do it. But that's what I feel like. Uh, like 90% of the questions that I get asked are about JE and like entrance exam related things. So I just wanted to tell you what I feel about this. Okay. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, go work and stop watching YouTube all day. Bye-bye. <laughs>